Okay, so I wanted to talk about how to um, change your units. So if you accidentally create a part that's in the wrong units, um, or if you're trying to create something for another country that uses a different metric, um, how do you change the units? So right here, I have a um, five by five by five inch block. So now let's say I realize after the fact I created it, I just typed in my fives, hit enter, and now I realize that actually it's supposed to be five millimeters cubed. So how do you go about doing that? It's been a little while, but on the first day we mentioned that you can change your units um, using these desktop settings. Um, so you can change that in the beginning of your, before you do any work, and it'll change how your measurements are made, how your, your object is made. But if we were to now change it to millimeters, apply that, and close it, um, right now our part is still in the size that we designated when we were in inches, um, but we've now changed the measurements and our future values to be in millimeters. So the way that we are going to change that um, is we are going to, first we'll close out of this, we're going to select everything, um, which in this case is just one, one part, but and you're going to go to direct. And here there are a couple different options but the one we're going to want to use if we're changing our units is scale. So I'm going to go into Google, which I already have done, and look what it is to go from an inch to, to a millimeter. Um, and then I'm going to, so in this case, because I want to go from inches to millimeters, I'm going to divide by 25.4. Um, so I'm going to say x equals... 1, 1 divided by 20, it's giving me trouble there, let's just do, let's switch this, let's say 1 millimeter to inch, so we're going to multiply by this value. And we want it to be uniform. Um, it unselected that when I changed screens. Um, so now you see that it has shrunk dramatically. Um, and I'm going to hit that to apply it. And then if we were to zoom into our part, um, I can get rid of this now. And we can inspect, measure, and now we have edges that are 5 millimeters. Um, obviously, if you wanted to go in the opposite direction, um, that's when you would do, um, you would multiply by 25.4 to go from one millimeter to your metric in inches. All right. Um, I hope this made sense. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll talk to you soon.